What's up everybody, Rob here. Welcome to my evil workshop, AKA my basement. And right now this place is kind of taking on like a, a weird Sid from Toy Stories room. And I'll tell you why, over the last couple years, we've been doing this thing on Threadbanger where we go to thrift stores and we grabbed like all the porcelain figurines that they had and made them demonic. And then we did the same thing this year, except we did it with stuffed animals and just made them look scary as shit. Uh, a lot of you said that you really liked it and if it was for sale that you would actually buy it. And it just so happens that a friend of ours invited us to his craft fair. Get this, it's called The Big Crafty and they served craft beer and you could shop for crafts. Hello, that's a no brainer. Uh, we told him that we were in and we figured we had to sell something so this is it. Just weird evil toys. And now here's the best part. This episode is actually being sponsored by Squarespace which means that now everything that we make here uh, and everything that we sell 100% of the proceeds are going to be going to one of mine and Corinne's favorite local charities, the Asheville Cat Weirdos. And now if you don't know Squarespace, you should. They are the all-in-one platform where you can build your online presence and run your own business from websites to online stores to analytics. You may be familiar with it already. Threadbanger.com was built on it uh, and runs on it today. Check them out. Link in the description. In the meantime, let me take you through some of the treasures that I have found over the course of the last month or two shopping through various thrift stores. We got an Elmo doll. These are pretty hard to find. That was a score. I've got some seriously f***ed up plans for this uh, My Little Pony here. Got some cats. This Peppa Pig over here. That's gonna be pretty good. And then these are some of the porcelain figurines that we got. A lot of them are angels uh, and Santa Claus and nutcrackers and things because it's just that time of year. Lots of uh, baby Jesuses and everybody else that went to the party. So yeah, we're gonna be uh, taking these and giving them a demonic makeover. You know what? Except this one. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one stays here. All right. Uh, it's 8.30 right now. You know what? I forgot to mention this craft fair that I speak of uh, it's actually this weekend. And when I say this weekend, I mean like in a day and a half-ish. Procrastination is a bitch. Let's get cracking. Up first, I've really been wanting to rip the face off of this My Little Pony. That involves uh, just a, you know, a little quick scissoring right up the middle. Give that a snip. <laughs> yeah. And you can just rip that magical little pony stuffing right out of its face. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little skull, we're just gonna push it in there like nothing happened. And this is the magic. It happens right away. I've also got this leg that would fit perfectly right here. And as long as it stands, you boom, you're in business. Huh? Right out of the gate with this one. This one's gotta get painted up, but moving on. Let's see, that took a grand total of 14 minutes. And I've got 20 of them to make right here. I can get done five an hour. Four hours, shit. Okay, all right, I gotta get moving. So for Elmo here, I'm gonna be adding these uh, monster teeth along with this little Hannibal Lecter kind of Silence of the Lambs mask. You're now looking at probably the fucking coolest Elmo doll you've ever seen. Now I saw this neon pink and green elephant, which is just trippy enough as it is, and I thought if I could take this giant eyeball that I got and just put it right in the middle, then it's like some fucking crazy pink acid elephant, you know? I don't know, do you know? Maybe you don't, you probably don't. This next one's a pretty big operation. We got this teddy bear here, which already kind of looks evil. I don't know where, what, where that's from, but I'm just gonna rip him apart and start putting some crazy sh** on him. This next one's gonna be another uh, major operation. I'm adding tentacles this time to this rabbit, along with like a rib cage. Oh my god. I said it before, I'll say it again. This is a goddamn nightmare. Look at that! Alright, only another uh, 18, 25 more of these to go. 30? 40 more? I don't know. All I do know is that the later it gets around here, the just the weirder all these fucking things are turning out. All right, uh, welcome back to day two. Uh, we have all the animals, all 38 of them. Took all goddamn night, but we fucking did it. We prevailed. They're not bloody. I still gotta gore these up, but moving on out here, we got the next project. All of our porcelain figurines uh, have been lined up and accounted for, and now we just go in with some black glossy spray paint, and we're in business. Probably a little sacrilege uh, to paint the nativity scenes and the angels 
I'll tell you what, every time that I went to Goodwill uh, and I bought the angels, all of the old ladies behind the counter that were checking me out were like, oh, you're buying all the angels. I didn't tell them what I was gonna do with them, uh, but uh, hopefully they'll never find out. Done. Holy sh! All right, there are approximately 75 of these. Oh, I'm going to hell for baby Jesus, but it was worth it. <laughs> Next move, take these inside uh, and give them some red eyes, and that's it. Time check, uh, we're doing real terrible <laughs> on time. <sighs> it's four o'clock. We actually still have to shoot another video today uh, for something else completely different. I've got to finish these. I've got to bloody up the stuffed animals and that should bring us to 12 o'clock tomorrow at the craft fair. So, shit, this is crazy. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Right on time, but not really. 11 o'clock. We've got one hour to set this all up. Ah, there she is. Hi. All right, getting set up over here. Uh, everybody else is already set up. Everything looks really great here. Uh, we are uh, approximately 25 minutes out and have absolutely nothing on our tables. And what we've got here is a race to the finish. 23 minutes remain. 12 o'clock, you sons of bitches, and we did it. Look at that. The Threadbanger Zombie Toy Store is live. Now let's see if we can sell one goddamn thing. Threadbanger fans in the house. Okay, yes. Our first purchase of the day. Oh, that's a good one. Nice. Did you get that one? Yeah, that's the Cyclops bear. Oh, the Cyclops bear is my favorite. I see you've gotten the dog spider. I did. We've been here for an hour and everybody's buying all the things. I didn't make enough. Hi. She's a really big fan. <laughs> now we're in an episode together. How's it going? Oh my god. You got three of them, huh? Okay, so one's gonna be a white elephant Christmas present. These are going in the game room. So. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, that one, right? That was really great. Yeah, I thought about that one. God, this can even be like a tree topper. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good, good idea. idea. I don't know. Elf on a shelf. Right. You know, now we got dead bear on a shelf. Clementine here. You were the first customer. She got this one and then you put a cape on it? Yeah, bring it in my bedroom. It's like a bunny Cthulhu. I'm not really sure. I definitely watch your channel instead of studying for fun. Oh. In a turn of events here, we have sold the first evil nativity scene to not only than the creator of the Big Crafty himself. Get a round of applause out there Woo! for this guy. Yeah. And thanks for letting us sell really weird things to people. We love it. Which, what'd you get? I got this pink elephant. I really love the eye. It just brings it out so much. It's really cute. Is it, where are you gonna put this? What are you gonna do with it? It's gonna go right in the middle of my bed. Oh yeah. All right, here's what we're looking at. It's a 334. Uh, we are approximately, well, if you could do the fucking math, three hours and 34 minutes into this whole entire excursion, and uh, we've run out of, uh, well, we've run out of shit. I think you may have seen the family of evil, which I uh, had created over here. It's been sitting on the table. Nobody has bought it except these people. That's my family right there. <laughs> Brandon just bought the, uh, well, I'm calling him a dark wizard now. See you, little guy. Going to a good home. Status report from the Threadbanger Toy Shop. It's approximately 6.06, that's it, the day's over. I mean, this is what we got left. I'm surprised, but that is all. The toy shop sign is down. This is all that remains, folks. We did it. We did it, you know? Craft Fair, 2018. Woo! Well, that was exciting. Uh, at the end of the day, we ended up raising a grand total of $1,400 for the Asheville Cat Weirdos, which we are not only going to match, but because of our awesome sponsorship with Squarespace, we are going to quadruple. Uh, I haven't done the math yet, but it's it's a lot more than $1,400. Speaking of Squarespace, if you're thinking about starting your own site, and I think you should, I mean, you have been talking about it for years. Do yourself a favor, head on over to squarespace.com for your free trial, and when you're ready to launch your site, I'm gonna let you know a little secret. I got my own little code. I got my own little thing uh, on the side going. Squarespace.com slash Rob Czar. You hit that puppy up, you're getting 10% off. What a deal. What a bargain. Everyone in this episode is winning, as far as I'm concerned, you know? We gave a bunch of money to cats. We got to meet you guys, which was awesome. Uh, by the way, shout out to everyone who stopped by, hung out this weekend. And that's it, that's all I got for you on this uh, episode of, of me. On this, on, a, on this channel, on my channel. That's what we're doing. Subscribe, like the shit out of this video, and I'll see you around here next time.